what's good YouTube it's your boy Jerome Fay here coming to you with a new tutorial video for the day hope this video finds you guys in good spirits now only half of this video is going to be voice over I did an intro for the video uh, and the sound quality that didn't come out the best so a portion of it will be voice over but the rest will be uh, just a regular tutorial video give you guys the goods so be sure to hit that like button share and subscribe guys help the channel grow so this video I'm going to show you a couple variations for the straight bar uh, curl and the preacher curl. I'm going to show you how and the why to do it, different angles, and if you watch all the way to the end, I'm going to have a special tip for you to grow those biceps because it's time to have those tank tops, arms showing through those tank tops, guys. So, also, don't forget now, hit my website, drawfitcoaching.com for my downloadable programs, and I also have... Uh, Illuminati merchandise, clothing, uh, tank tops, t-shirts, and whatnot, and some other clothing items. So be sure to support your boy, and hope you enjoy this video. Alright, first I'm going to show you the straight bar curl, alright? And if you guys have watched my videos previously, and with the straight bar curl, if you watched my videos previously, the difference between the straight bar and the cambered bar, and you probably say, what's the cambered bar? It's the preacher curl bar. This is the cambered bar, that's what it's called. Preacher curl bar or cambered bar, all right? Now, if you want to know what's the difference between the two, all right? This bar, the straight bar, all right, gives you more forearms. See them forearms? See that forearm development? That's what that's gonna give you, all right? That's the difference between, the major difference between the straight bar and the cambered bar. The cambered bar hits the biceps a little more directly with less emphasis on the forearms, all right? So if you got some nice ass juicy forearms already, do this bar. But if you're like most people and your forearms, if your forearms look like this bar here, then you need to be using this, this bar. But if you already got good forearms, and use the other bar, right? So let me go into the tutorial. All right, so I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna find you out of frame here, I'm gonna get closer so you can see it on the bicep. So I'm gonna go into the setup, all right? So let's look down, walk up to the bar, and let's look at my setup, my hand position, all right? See my hands right about here, not too far out here. You don't want, you do not want, what you're trying to eliminate is having space here when you curl, all right? So my hands are here, I'm here nice and here, all right? So what you wanna think about is, all right, what you wanna think about is, you know how like you have the pin that you slide into the, the plate, the plates and weights or whatever? What you need to think about when you set up here, you need to think about there's a pin that got slid in here and here on the opposite side, on your arms here. So your arms are pinned here. So they can't go here, here, here. So once you start to curl, the arms are pinned into position. So you shouldn't see that space. You shouldn't see space in between when you're curling, all right? So, now you see my hands set up. I'm gonna show you a different, couple different angles. I'm not gonna go too crazy on the weights. Cause like I said, we don't wanna do no athlete X shit. Be fake weighting it, man. No fake lifting. You know, let's just tell people you do it a tutorial video. It's not that hard, all right? So here, all right, I'm gonna turn to the side to you. So you can see set up, chest up. Out, and I'll show you from the side here. I'm gonna show you the mistakes people make first. Most people when they curl, they go here, boom, here. That's cool, you wanna go next level shape. Next level. Think about trying to curl to your forehead to get here, resist. Scoop, oof, mm. squeeze, and resist it. Scoop, don't swing, none of that. If you have a problem with swinging, the weight is probably too heavy, all right? And put your, if, if you're doing that, maybe the weight is too heavy, or put your back up against the wall and give you something to stabilize. But now I'm gonna show you this angle here from the front. Let's get that light back. I don't like this lighting. I don't want light back to where it was. Look, look. All right? So now I'm gonna get close up and show you up close how it's supposed to look from the front angle, all right? So here, hand position. All right, see how you see that light behind me? You don't want to see no light. If you can see light, you better get, if you can see that light behind you, you better get you some bigger lights. All right, here. 
bullet. Ooh, resist. Mm. Don't swing it, none of that, all right? Uh, uh, resist, all right? Boom. Now, what I recommend for the straight bar, 10 reps to eight reps. If you're doing 20 reps on a straight bar, you need to go heavier, all right? It's a mass movement. Damn, look at the Taco Bell commercial as we speak. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it. Let me think of some more tips I can give you uh, just off the top of my head for the straight bar curl. Remember, straight bar curl, mass. You want big biceps, big arm, that's a mass building movement. All right, and what's the difference between the straight bar and the cambered bar or the preacher curl bar? What did I tell you? Form development, all right? Now, I won't say that the, the, the preacher curl is better. It is better for the biceps. It is better for direct bicep targeting. But if you have a big, big biceps and you have a small forearms, then your arms look whack. You know what I'm saying? There's never, you know what I mean? It's not a good look for your arms, all right? So now let's go into the preacher curl, all right? Your setup for your preacher curl is already gonna be kind of a, uh, you can't really adjust it too much because you're in a static position. You really can't go anywhere. So it's hard, harder to do bad form, but believe me, it still happens, all right? And I'm gonna show you another thing. A lot of people don't, they only do curls on this side. They don't even know that it's a, most curl bars are two-sided. So I'm gonna show you both sides, all right? I'm gonna add a little bit of weight, not too much, because we wanna keep that form tight. Like I said, no fake weight lifting here. All right, so I'm gonna show you hand set position placement, all that. Now, even though you're on this, this pad will keep you a little more honest than being standing, um, but still don't be too, don't cheat. All right, triceps push down on the pad, all right? Two grips you can go, you can go wide grip. The wider grip for me, let me show you. Let me go to the telly, let me show you, all right? I'm gonna show you, all right, so the wide grip here, right here, this grip here, for me personally, hits this part of my bicep more. I feel it here and here, all right? When I come inside grip, all right, I feel it the opposite. Here, more so in here. In here. All right, so that's me personally. You might be different. Keep that in mind, all right? Everybody lives different, so I'm not trying to tell you do what I do. Just give me some thoughtful, some insight, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of this stuff, a lot of thinking goes into this more than what people think. A lot of people see YouTube videos, see, wow, I'm going crazy, and they think that's how it is, man. You see how that you I'm working out right now. Look, I'm in the gym right now. You know what I'm saying? This is the real deal. This is how, this is how, this is how real bodybuilding, in a sense. You're not gonna be in the gym with 50 motherfuckers in here bothering you, wasting time taking pictures, you know what I'm saying? I just so happen to want to share some of this game with y'all, because I mean, not to be funny, but uh, I ain't gonna say my arms is maxed out, because I'll take a couple inch, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You see the pecs? Anybody said they got better pecs than me, you better smack them. I, I'm I don't mean like slapping them hard, that's why man, you tripping. And they tripping. All right, so let's get in here, make sure we in frame. All right, same principles apply. We're not trying to stay tight. We're trying to actually curl away from the body, get more range of motion, because the bicep doesn't go up and down. The bicep is more like, you know what I'm saying? It curl, it's a curl. So curl, curl. Okay, so here, Now I'm pushing my triceps down. I'm squeezing my biceps now. I'm gonna keep my biceps squeezed. Do up a whole set. I'm gonna go 10 reps. Whole set, bicep squeeze. Resist on the way down. Curl away from you, swoop up. Resist, that's so important. Don't just, and drop it. Squeeze it and resist it. Resist it, okay? All right, now I'm gonna show you the front view. All right, now, remember what I said. When I'm out here with a wider grip, I feel it on my outer body, 
out here, up more towards the shoulder, on the outside, all right? And down here. And when I come in, it's the opposite. It's inside, I'll see the outside, inside. So it's different, so depending on where you want to target. So what I would recommend, I would do three sets of each. Three sets here, three sets here. Well, one time. The next time you do it, start from the middle, three sets here, and work your way out so you have a fully developed bicep. All right? So I'm gonna show you here. Boom. Tricep down. Squeeze. Resist. Scoop away. Scoop away. Scoop away. And I'll show you the form here. Same thing. Here. And don't let people make you feel like a douchebag for doing this, right? What you should do after your set, not just biceps, back, legs, give that muscle some contraction after the set. Really drive home that point. Bring out the extra definition. It's like polishing a diamond, you know what I'm saying? Don't worry about what other people are doing in the gym. If they, somebody talks shit to you, man, pretend like you didn't hear them, you had your headphones, and disregard what they're saying, all right? So, that should be it. Oh, I forgot, almost forgot, almost forgot. Let me show you. Almost forgot. I'm gonna show you how to what to do on the other side. Like I said, a lot of people don't know that you can do two sides of the preacher curl. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. One of the main reasons I like this angle is just really how it makes my biceps look. So I'm gonna be completely honest. With you. So now I just you know it's a very different angle. Like I said, hit that bicep, all right? And this is, this way is really all bicep. You can't really get the back to help you anything like that. So here, see what I'm saying? It's all biceps. Ooh, I like that, man. Try that. I like that's all biceps. Obviously, you cannot go as heavy on the other movements, but at out. A tip on biceps. Biceps don't really like heavyweight low volume. They like that repetition. A bicep is a repetition muscle. You can get the heavy lifting from the bicep uh, by doing uh, your back exercise, your single arm dumbbell rows, things of that nature. That that'll allow you to. Get the, some heavy weight into the bicep and let the back take the brunt off of that. Uh, a lot of guys are tearing biceps and shit like that. My personal belief, I think, is because they're training heavy without the repetitions. And the bicep, like I said, is a more of a repetition muscle. And they like those reps, that's how they grow. So if you have trouble growing your biceps, instead of going heavier, drop the weight a little bit, bump those reps up to about 20, and watch those biceps pump up and grow. You know what I'm saying? Throw some weighted chin-ups in there, and watch those biceps pump up and grow. I mean, what do I know? In case y'all wonder, my arms are 18 inches in shape lean today. Not two weeks ago, not that, today. Today, I, I, I met them on my IG story. Follow me on IG, at Jerron Fit too, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with your boy. I got my clothing, fuck with your boy. I got palm chasers, Jerron 10, fuck with your boy. Doing a giveaway. Um, same thing again, get some clothing, tag it, me and Beast Mode in it, come down and train with us, man, I know the coronavirus put a uh, kink in those plans, but the contest winner is coming down, he is in the military, he's in Alaska right now, but he is coming down to train with us, he said in July, I believe, so that's going to happen, you know what I'm saying, so, hope everybody's doing okay. Don't forget like, share, and subscribe, and turn on post chicken chicken notifications, all right? Enjoy your weekend, be safe out there, man. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, which isn't much, you know?